Hey, what's up? I'm Terry. And I am Dryden. We're in Alien Ant Farm, and you're watching Pavlina's Kids Place. Hey, everyone. This is Pavlina from Pavlina's Kids Place, and I'm on location here at the Gramercy Theater in New York City, and I'm here with Dryden and Terry, who are... Alien Ant Farm. Yeah, I know. You guys are some of the members. So your tour bus is kind of like an all-in-one sort of thing. You know, you do your recording on there, transportation, all that songwriting and everything. So did you? does it ever get really chaotic or anything? Um, well, you know, you stick like seven to ten dudes on a bus yeah. together and, and it can get hectic, probably more smelly than hectic, but... We all get along relatively well, so I'm, the chaos is only, um, I don't, I don't really feel it, you know? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, because like I know a lot of songwriters and everything, sometimes they have to like leave the bus or something just to like come up with more ideas, you know? Um, yeah, I don't know. We don't, we don't really write too much on, on the bus, no. Do you guys have like a certain place you like to go for that and everything? Just home. Really? Yeah. yeah. Right. Studios. Home. Studios. Whatever. Ho studios. Home. <laughs> home studios. Yeah. Home studios. Yeah. yeah. Studios at your home kind of thing. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Awesome. So your song, Smooth Criminal, like that's kind of like your signature song. Did you ever have Michael Jackson come and talk to you guys about that or anything? Um, you know, we coordinated with him a little bit on the video, uh, you know, just making sure that we weren't stepping over any lines because we wanted to be, you know, we wanted to pay tribute to him. We didn't want to, like, poke fun or anything like that. So, yeah, you know, we, we got his input a little bit on the video. Oh, cool. That must have been really cool to, like, get Michael Jackson's input, you know? Absolutely. Very cool. <laughs> it's funny how you said Michael Jackson's input. Oh, yeah? Yeah, like in a Beavis and Butthead kind of way. What, like, has changed with the music business over the past 10 years that you guys have noticed so far? Um, just probably, like, uh, the sale of records, you know? And, um, I mean, styles change like uh, fashion does. So, I mean, bands are always carouseling through the seasons, you know? Definitely. That's what I see changing. Technology. Yeah. Technology is way different, you know? Uh... There's a lot of ways, uh, you know, for bands to DIY it these days, you know, which is kind of cool. And, and even just, you know, the interaction with fans and, you know, the mystery's kind of gone now, you know. It's like they, they want to see, like, your meals and what songs you're listening to or whatever. Yeah, that's what Twitter's for, I guess, right? You guys have a new single coming out. Tell me about that. Uh, it's a song called Homage, and uh, we wrote it while we were making the record in Chicago. And, um, you know, we were doing some co-writes and stuff with some other artists, and uh, Dryden got this really cool, like, play on words going, you know, and all of a sudden it turned into this big love song to music. Just uh, an ode to the bands that we grew up loving, you know, the Beatles and Prince mm -hmm. and Yellow and all kinds of different bands are named in the song, just like he said, a, kind of a love song to music. Very nice. That's great. So, do you guys ever venture around to the sites and everything, like when you guys get off the tour and everything? Venture around to like different sites. Like you're in New York, you know. Do you go anywhere? Um, just try and visit the few friends that we have here and there. You know, um, if we get a day off, we might do something silly and yeah. you know sightseeing stuff. But you know, today is just some press and have lunch with a friend, and that's about. It's about the extent of it. Sometimes you get to go do, it really depends on like, like Dryden said, like days off are usually, well, days off can be few and far between, but when we get them, you know, if it's a, if we're in a cool place, we'll definitely, yeah. even if we're not in a cool place, we'll kind of venture out and look for something to do, I guess. Yeah. Do you have a favorite place that you like to go to? Like, oh, we have to go here on the tour kind of thing? Um, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of boring saying that I, I'm not sure. I just really want to have good shows. Yeah. I'm not really concerned about, you know, seeing things other than, like, people that enjoy the music, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel ya. <laughs> I concur. Okay. Very cool. Well, thank you guys so much for talking to me. Oh, no problem. Thanks for having us. Yeah. Thank you very much.